I think I've seen this before. Hey everybody, Dr. Ray Blue here, and this is my movie review of ARK, directed by Tony Elliott and starring Robbie Amell and Rachel Taylor. This is a clever science fiction film about a couple who become trapped in a time loop, reliving the same day over and over, while having a home invasion take place and all centering around a scientific invention called the Ark. It's hard not to compare this film's design to movies like Groundhog's Day or Edge of Tomorrow, but only in the sense that the story revolves around the main characters stuck in a time loop reliving the same time frame repeatedly. Aside from that, Ark manages to have a unique and clever story that is well told, well paced, and looks very good for the independent sci-fi film that it is. All in all, managing to avoid being just another clone of looping time when someone dies. Ultimately, the film, produced by Netflix, is about the Ark. A device that creates a time loop that propels anyone within its radius to repeat a period of time. The main characters are Renton, played by Robbie Amell, who invented the machine, and his girlfriend Hannah, played by Rachel Taylor. The couple wake up to their bunker-like home being invaded by a group of rebels known as the Block, who are demanding scripts, as in financial credits, not prescriptions. The rebel group is opposing a tyrannical megacorp called Taurus, and the film touches upon this futuristic near-apocalyptic world without too much t detail outside what is needed for the storyline. This may be a good thing as it helps the story keep to the main theme and plight of the main characters without excessive explanations about the world around them. Renton designed a perpetual motion machine known as the Ark while working at Taurus that now resides in the couple's home. As the film continues through its narrative, we find more and more backstory for how everything came to escalate to their current situation. Though Taurus was not intended to build a time machine, the machine's revolutionary powers have made it a prized commodity that Taurus now wants to get their hands on and the couple must fight to escape with the technology intact and not falling into the hands of the corporate warlords. The movie does a pretty good job of avoiding predictable actions and nauseating repetition even though we are seeing the same time frame repeated numerous times throughout, unlike other films with similar time structure, each repeated experience has differences both subtle and significant that leave the viewer engrossed in the action and curious about what will change next. The actors all give good performances through the film, which also helps dole down the redundancy of the storyline, while also making a film fairly believable sci-fi premise. The pacing is also good and doesn't waste too much time with unnecessary romance or side plots that jumble up the linear narrative of the film. All the characters are believable and for the most part easy to sympathize with but certainly help along the plot. While some of the story may be a bit predictable, the film is quite clever and has enough twists and turns to make it entertaining and keep you interested the whole way through without ever feeling like you know exactly what is coming next. The ending was also a good wrap-up and surprising enough to be a nice payoff for this story and doesn't let you down. And all told in a short 88 minutes, so again, not much time wasted to tell its story and overall a good action sci-fi film that makes the most of its limited resources with decent special effects and great character chemistry. Likely not a film that people will be rushing out to buy or such, but a well-made indie sci-fi that has plenty of action and a good story that keeps you entertained. Hop over to Netflix and give it a try. If you liked Looper or Edge of Tomorrow, you may very well enjoy this film as well, and even if you didn't like those other films, Ark has a unique story told within the time loop genre which hasn't quite been overused. Though I can see that happening soon enough, particularly if there isn't a decent plot and strong performances to help protect the viewer from repeated redundant repetition over and over again. Wait, what? Certainly not a blockbuster, but it is a good watch for a slow evening or afternoon and well worth checking out on Netflix. Thank you for watching. Please comment below with your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, and help spread the madness. Oh no. Not again. What? Oh! Oh!